Hey guys, what is going on? Spipperks here, back with another LEGO Mixel video, and in this video I will be diving into how LEGO Mixels has changed from Series 1 to Series 9. Alright, so if you're watching this video, you probably are a Mixel fan, or at least like it a little bit. Now, you've probably seen the difference between the first series of LEGO Mixels compared to where it is now at the newest series, Series 9. In this video, I'll be diving a little bit deeper to see the differences, so let's go ahead and begin. Now, the first big difference, and maybe the most obvious one, is the fact that at the very beginning, you know, Series 1 through 3 especially, we were getting element tribes, you know, you get the ice tribe, you get the fire tribe, and those sort of, you know, groups of Mixels. And then you go on a little bit further into the Mixels theme, and you get a lot of profession tribes. We're talking the Trashos tribe, the Newsers tribe, and that sort of stuff. Here you can see a few of the most popular element tribes, in my opinion. You've got the Infernites, the Frosticons, and of course the Glorp Court. Notice how all these are from the first three series. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some element tribes in future series, but you end up seeing a lot of these type of tribes. And these are profession tribes, like I said here, the MCPD would also be another good example. And there are a whole bunch more as well that you guys can name. Now, these are the most uh, recognizable ones, but definitely a difference between Series 1 through 3 and then the series that we're getting right now, specifically around Series 8 and 9, and a bit of 7 as well. Alright, another difference is at the very beginning of Mixels, basically every single tribe had a main color. And of course, here you can see the Electroids, obviously all yellow. And then we moved on to a bunch of different colors. I mean like a bunch. Like the Pirates tribe does not have a certain color that they are. If you compare them to like all these tribes right here. You got the Frost Cons again. But from of course Series 5. You have the Electroids. And you have the Fang Gang. Of course there are a bunch more as well. Like the Flexors. But they all do share this same color. And then of course... Some of them do still do, and then of course some Mixel tribes like the Medics here do have the same colors. They're usually a color scheme, like here in the Medics tribe you have that sort of like a teal color, you have that aqua blue, and then you have the white. Those are like three colors that the whole tribe has in common. However, now you get a lot of tribes that have many colors, and I'm talking about the Newsers, and of course the Pirates. Those are the two main ones, but you do see a lot now that they're not just sticking to a whole bunch of tribes that are all basically the same colors. Now, is this good or is this bad? Well, I know a lot of adult fans of LEGO definitely do like a one color theme. Of course, they can get a whole bunch of pieces of that certain color, obviously helps with mocks and different LEGO creations. But then, of course, there are some advantages of getting many colors. You get a bunch of different colors. It's harder, though, to get a bunch of one single color as, it, as there are many different colors. Anyways, let's move on. Now, we also have the simple Nixels from the first few series to now specific Nixels. A few examples of these simple ones are these three that you see in front of you. Basically, for a super long time in the Mixels line, we got a lot of these type of Nixels. Of course, you get one Nixel per tribe. One Mixel from each tribe has one of these guys. And in the beginning, this is basically what you got. You got one of those faces that you see right there. Basically, there were only two of them at the time. And then you get a few different body combinations. But that was pretty much it. Well, now in the new series, basically starting whenever we got King Nixel, we have different face prints, as well as different bodies as well. You may recall the MCFD Nixel also has flaming ears, which is very interesting. And of course, the most memorable uh, Nixel is King Nixel, and he does have a really cool face as well. Now, my personal favorite is the Nixel from the Pirates tribe with that eye patch. And of course, Series 9 also has some really, really cool 
Nixel faces, especially that ninja's tribe. Definitely really cool getting a ninja Nixel. Now continuing on, this is kind of a sketchy matter in my opinion. Um, I don't really want to talk too much about this, so this will, this will be very brief. I do not want to cause any controversy. Um, this is about Cartoon Network. Now this is not to criticize Cartoon Network, it's just to point out a few facts. In the beginning series of Mixels, we got a whole bunch of episodes, very very frequently. I bet you watching this video right now could name at least four that we got containing, you know, the first one through three series of Mixels. I mean, there are a ton. And then you go on and basically, from series four pretty much, all we get is like one episode, and it's usually a special, they call it, even though it's really not even that long, and you basically get one of those every like two series or so. And that is not cutting it for me. Um, obviously that does have something to do with why Mixels is ending, obviously, after series 9, very sadly. There's a link in the description below, and you can see uh, why it's ending. But that's pretty much it I want to talk about Cartoon Network. Going on, we have simple bricks that transition to complex bricks. Now this is a pretty hard one to scope out. If you're not really paying attention, you may not catch the really awesome bricks that we're getting now in these new sets. First off, let's just compare these two mixels right in front. We have Chomley on the left and Cuffs on the right. Chomley has basic brown pieces, the basic Mixel eyes, and the basic Mixel teeth, as well as a few other, well, more brown pieces. And then over on the right, we have Cuffs. Now, Cuffs is from the MCPD tribe, has two LEGO minifigure actual, like, hat pieces that go over the LEGO minifigure heads that work in the Mixel line. Those can actually be pulled off of Cuffs and put onto an actual minifigure. We also get handcuffs in this set. We get two Lego frying pans that are used for his sunglasses, and we get a really big white dome piece. I mean, like, that's a big difference. Obviously, Chomley from Series 2, and Cuffs, well, from Series 7. Now, here are a few more easier to, I guess, see for the simple bricks. You can look at these three mixels in front, and you can see that we get the very simple clicky joints, ball joints, uh, little half slab pieces, and just some very basic mixel pieces that we see all the time. And then we go over here to some complex bricks. Now, the earliest we see this is in Mesmo, right there in the middle, mostly because of Chima's purple wings that go on the side of them, as well as those two witch hats in the middle. That's basically whenever we start getting some more unique bricks, which, of course, you can find some complex bricks in Series 1 and 2, but it's definitely not as noticeable as in the upper series. Obviously, the Pirates Tribe is a huge example of this. I mean, like, look at Skullzy on the left right there. I mean, we get a sword, we get some of those flower pieces, we get a life preserver piece that goes around his eye, and we get that half clamshell piece for his jaw. I mean, like, that's awesome, right? And that pretty much sums up my overview of how LEGO Mixels has changed from Series 1 to Series 9. If you see any other differences, be sure to comment them down below. I want to know, and I bet a whole bunch of other Mixel fans would highly appreciate that. I mean, if you're all a Mixel fan, you obviously want to know more about the thing that you like, right? Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am Spit Bricks. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do a whole bunch of different LEGO videos all the time. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.